What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a good old chat. We need to have a good old chat about a new One Piece product, which is coming around, which is a very, very big deal, and which we've never seen before. And I don't think we actually got a distributor listing for this in advance, which is weird, because we always learn about new products from distributor listings first, for One Piece at least. Never mind, we've got the Treasure Booster set coming out in August, and because we don't have a distributor listing, I actually can't give you a better date here. I do have to just tell you August and leave it there. But here's the thing. This is... It's awesome, but it's also a little bit gacha. It has the potential to be the product we've all been waiting for. And it also has the potential to be kind of hilariously disappointing. But h hilarious in a bad way. You see, what we've got here is... Well, here's a description. For the first time, here's a set containing a random selection of previously released booster packs. Includes a promotion card that features new artwork. Now, weirdly, it doesn't actually say on the doesn't actually say what the number of booster packs is but it's blatantly going to be four it's twenty dollars and it contains some booster packs look at the double sets or the double packs or whatever you want to call them that are two boosters and a don for ten dollars this is blatant five boosters would be too generous that would work out at four dollars a booster that would be too much but three boosters would be like $5 a booster plus $5 for the promo, which is clearly absurd. So just looking at the price point there, it's got to be four boosters. And it features OP01 to OP05. Now, I've not seen confirmation of that on the official website, but that is what we are being told by the lovely Orange Samurai D, who is generally pretty switched on when it comes to this stuff, generally knows what they're doing. So, we got reprint of OP01 to OP05 coming randomly. Here's the thing, though. We don't know exactly what we're getting. And I don't want to be rude, but all of these sets were not created equal. To put it bluntly, cross your fingers you don't get OP04. Because OP04 is, um... It, it's not the same, shall we say. And look, I love OP04. I've got a huge soft spot for OP04. But the reality is OP04 has been the most available. And I know it's getting hard to find now. I understand that. And maybe by August, you know, four months down the line, we're going to look at this and be like, man, I'm really glad OP04's in here. We've not seen that for ages. But the reality is, as a set... OP04 is by far the least exciting of them. It has been the most available. And honestly, we've gotten to the stage now where the, the format's kind of moved on from it. Like, the best leader in OP04 is Rebecca. The alternate art of that's like a $55, $60 card right now. In the OP04 meta, before OP05 dropped, yeah. Rebecca was legit. I casted a regional in November for One Piece over in Liverpool. And we had a player with Rebecca going 10-0. and 0. Although even, and, you know, undefeated really until he got knocked out in, I think it was top four. And the thing is, even back then, people were doubting Rebecca, said it wasn't good enough into yellow. We had one good player doing well. It was lovely. Go look at the OPO5 results. Go look at the OPO6 results. I'm not being rude here. Rebecca, and I love Rebecca as a character and as a deck. It's a really fun deck. Rebecca's not legit. Rebecca's time has absolutely passed. Hope it comes back's not here now. Obviously, we've got Manga Sabo, which is lovely. But that is not the most expensive manga by a long shot. It's, it's really about a $500 manga right now, which is very cheap compared to a lot of the manga rares out there. And then if we look at other cards in the set, we've got stuff like, you know, outside of the manga, we've got the Boa Hancock, which is a $140 card. I pulled this one. I'm delighted. And then nothing else is really above about 60, 65 bucks. It is not a phenomenal set in that regard. Playability-wise, it's not the best set around. In terms of big, valuable hits, it's not the best set around. 
It's just not the best set around. OPO4 is the one you're not hoping for. But that's not the only one that's coming back here. Romance Dawn. Actual, legit, Romance Dawn is coming back. At least Orange Samurai D is telling us it is, and I believe them. Romance Dawn is wonderful. It is a great set. It is the first set. And whereas I'm looking at OPO4 and I'm just like, eh, I am not thinking that when it comes to Romance Dawn. Romance Dawn is amazing. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. And yes, I know it's poster rata and all that rubbish. Don't care. It is a set which is full of phenomenal cards. I mean, the Manga Shanks is about a $1,600 card, quite a bit more than Sabo. But, you know, as I look at TCG Player right now, we've got Leader Law that's about $400. Leader Zoro is about $300. The Alt Nami is about $285. The Leader Luffy is about $260. The Leader Doflamingo is about $230. Even the Leader Kaido is about $120. And then, of course, you've got my favorite, the Roanoa Zoro, which is about a $110 card. This is is a great set. And we've seen Zoro doing well recently. This is a set that is absolutely worth getting excited about. This is a set which has been gone for a long time now. This has been a set that has been very hard to find for a very long time. When I went to Japan in August, I could find every One Piece TCG set pretty easily other than this. This was the one set when I was in Japan in August that I just was not able to find. The fact that this is coming back is going to be awesome. I'm legitimately getting excited that in the not too distant future, and I've told you this, but let me tell you again now, I'm going to be opening some Korean Romance Dawn. Because it's the only Romance Dawn out there. It's the only one you can realistically get quite easily. At least you're going to be able to when it comes out. I hope. I hope you can. Korean Romance Dawn is getting me excited. English Romance Dawn. Oh my yes. And then of course I know it's not that old. But we all know that OPO5 is phenomenal. We all know that OPO5 is a great set. Don't forget I am doing an opening of this on my whatnot. Literally later today. 7pm UK time. Use the code whatnot.com slash invite slash the wassy. So you can come and find out I'm doing it and join in and all kinds of fun things. £10 credit when you use the code. You know the deal at this stage. Come celebrate some OPO5 with me later today. It's going to be awesome. But also, it's a phenomenal set. Like, you've got the Manga Rare Monkey to Luffy, which, I mean, the price for this is all over the place, as it always is with such high-value cards. But $3,500 is probably about right. We've got the signed Luffy that is about a $2,000 card. We've got two other manga rares. The law is just over a 1000 And the kid is probably down around 900 Just a little bit below a 1000 Still massively more than the Sabo I showed you a minute ago. It is a phenomenal set. And that's before we even talk about the special rare Nami that's about 170 or the special rare Yamato that comes in at about a ton. This is a good set, ladies and gentlemen. A very good set. And frankly, anytime we can look and say OPO1 and OPO5 might be in your boxes, that is a very, very big deal. OPO5 is a pain to get now Unless we get a significant reprint, which I still think is coming, incidentally, it's going to be more of a pain time we get to August. The idea that these are coming, and, and there is a question here with, well, hang on a second, Wassi. What about this reprint we've been told is coming? Is this the reprint? Is this coming in addition to the reprint? I hope it's an addition. I don't really know. Now, OPO2 Paramount War is a weird one, because on the one hand, it's a set that's been gone for a while, it's hard to find, it's a set that if I saw boosters off, I would rush out and buy them as fast as I could, but then by the same token, it's not phenomenal, like we, we've got the Mangaret Ace, which is like 1100, and then we've got Newgate Leaders like 120, Borsalino's about a ton, and Smoker's like $80, and they're the top cards in the set. That's not exactly screaming big value money set there now, is it? And yet, I think it's an old enough set 
that's been annoying enough to find for long enough that even though it doesn't necessarily have the big money hits that a lot of the other sets have, I still think it's going to be a very popular set and I still think it's going to be one that a lot of people get very excited about. Could be wrong about this one. People could be bored of OPO2 and certainly the values would suggest it's not a big set. But I think it could be pretty fun. And just while we're here, but because it just seems weird at this stage, if we if we don't look at OPO3 as well. So maybe we have a quick sneak in on that one as well. And we've got, look, we've got Soja King, which, you know, that's the manga. That's about five six $600. That is not big. But you do have the leader Katakuri at about 230, leader Nami at about 180, wanted poster Luffy at 110, and the alt Katakuri at about a ton, $100. So there are some decent cards in here, but again, it doesn't hit the same as OPO1 or OPO5. Let's be clear here. Not saying it's a bad set by any stretch of the imagination. Absolutely am saying it does not hit in the same way as OPO1 and OPO5. And that's a potential issue with this product. Now, I just want to get on the record before we go into this again. I love this product. I love the idea. I am delighted that this is coming. And I think this is brilliant. And I'm going to buy a bunch of these. It's going to be an opening on this channel. It's going to be lovely. But by the same token, this is fraught with danger. Because there is no guarantee as to what you're going to pull here. You absolutely could open up packs of this and you find yourself with, you know, free OPO4 and an OPO3. Now, I hope, and I don't know, this is complete wish casting on my part. I hope that they've done it in a way that packs don't repeat. So essentially, you get four of the five packs and then, you know, you're basically guaranteed an OPO1 or an OPO5. And then even if you get OPO4, you still get, you know, three of the others. That's my hope. I don't know. I'm wish casting here. But look, we have been calling for more stock of the old sets. No, this is not the same as a gigantic reprint where booster boxes of all the sets are widely available. Not pretending for a second that it is. But I absolutely am pretending that this is a great product because it is. And it's one that I think we should all be delighted about. And just as a side note, remember, if this is the kind of thing you like and you'd like more of, pick it up. Although, honestly, I expect this to sell out instantly, so that's probably a pointless thing to say. For now, I want to know what you think about this product. I want to know if you're as happy as I am. I want to know anything you want to tell me, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.